anybody out there who wants to invite me next time to Paris Fashion Week, please fly me to Paris. Gini, we are meant to be together. <laughs> Mayang Adlao everyone! And welcome back! It's Shenanigans again! I keep on doing a lot of whatever. So, welcome back to my channel, you guys. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe after you watch this video. So, oh, we have GD at the back. <laughs> For moral support, I have GD at the back, anyway. I myself am very passionate about fashion. I, I've always loved fashion, the clothes, the runway. So the first week of July, they just had the Paris Fashion Week for the spring collection. And I'm just, this video is all about just a quick recap and which dress that I love, 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 love the most in, in each of the designers that I saw. I have four designer, four designers that I want to talk about and they're luxury known designers. So let's get it started. So the yeah. first designer that I want to talk about is Giambattista's, uh, I mean Giambattista Valle's uh, runway collection for spring for 27th. Was it? Oh my god, no! Oh my god. It's not spring. I'm so sorry. It's fall. For fall 2017. So anyway. So Giambattista Valles. My gosh. When there's tool, you instantly know that it's Giambattista's collection. Because he loves, loves putting on some tool in his collection. Very soft drapings. Very feminine. Very dreamy. The draping, a lot of ruching as well in his collection. Oh my god, details, details! Those little details, just right off the bat, you'll fall in love with his collection. I wish I was one of those models who could wear it. I'm like, oh! You could see some of the models' nips and like underwear, but but because of the like the construction of the dress. The silhouette of the dress, the design of the dresses and the clothes, you don't even feel, you, you don't, it doesn't even look vulgar. It looks super elegant, sophisticated, dreamy. So overall, all his collections were like, oh my god, how can I afford you? Please give me some clothes. So yes, that's Giambattista Valle's collection okay so the next um, designer that I want to talk about and you can't not talk about this designer this brand I mean is Valentino Valentino yes the collection was also inspired by the non nunnery dress the nunnery way of dressing and the priests which I clearly got because the first few clothes that we, that I saw, um, you instantly get the feel of this is inspired by some nuns because all the long jackets, the silhouette is very loose, very loose layerings. The color was on point for fall, I mean, like the prints on the dresses, man. Like there was one dress in, I think in gold with all those like the swirls, spirals and all and it's like oh my god I wish please give me that dress and my favorite dress of the collection was um one of the stand it, I find it stand out because it's also pink this gown was like it popped to me and the the design was unconventional so it was a pink gown with like a ruching on the chest area and it was like my first, my first reaction was like, oh, I must have that dress. I wish I could wear that. Overall, Valentino's collection was like, beautiful. Like, unconventional of construction of the dresses, the, 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 the long jackets, the styling. You could instantly tell it's fall and like, please. 
Invite me, Valentino! Oh, here, Paolo Piccioli, please invite me. But yeah, Valentino was also an A plus for me. The next brand, the next luxury design brand needs no introduction. This is why I fell in love with fashion. Chanel. My brand buyer. So, and GD? My bae. GD is one of the influencers of Chanel. So, GD, we are meant to be together. <laughs> the clothes and the collection. The collection, they went back. I feel like they went back to the classic Chanel that I was introduced with where it was all androgynous and you really felt like you were in Paris because that was I f like my mind when I saw that runway collection I felt like that was a true Parisian woman I I had no complaints I mean I personally my style isn't all like androgynous but I would get some of the clothes there and like wear it for myself impeccable construction like tweed on the coat with those um puffed sleeves i the puff sleeves like who would have thought that you could do that i mean carl lagerfeld you are a genius so the puff sleeves like what got me was the neckline construction like the round neckline i love i'm a sucker for really structured necklines in some clothes so when I saw some of the clothes walking down the runway I saw this round super constructed structured neckline I'm like oh shit <sighs> so fucking beautiful and to top it all off like as I said the classic Chanel they the accessories all the women wore the boater hat the boater hat <laughs> Well, it's not really boater hat. So, the cano canotier, canotier hat. So, I first like when you know when you when it's that kind of styling, you know it's Chanel. It just screams classic Chanel with the whole styling of it. Chanel never disappoints me in awe. So I'm like, you are so brilliant, Karl Lagerfeld. Please give me Chanel stuffs, please! My last fashion designer that I want to talk about in Paris Fashion Week is one of my favorite gown designers of all time, Ali Saab! You know it's Ali Saab when it's all so flowy, so elegant, so sweeping, and like... But when I first saw the current collection, it was like, really? Ellie? It was, mm, it was beautiful. His collection was inspired by warrior princesses. And you can instantly tell with all the clothes in his collection, um, it could be used for Game of Thrones. The dresses would be perfect for Game of Thrones. Girl boss dress dressing kind of style in his collection. And I'm all for girl boss. Like, bitch, I'm here. Powerful. Mm, 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 mm. And he did not veer away from his soft, dreamy, elegant aesthetic. Had it. So when you see all the, the some of the gowns, it was it was still uh, they were still flowy, very um, hot couture, and the details were still on point. The embroidery on the gowns, but he he added some edge to it. There were capes on top of the gowns, cr like some crown accessories. It was girl boss beautiful. I've never seen an Ellie Saab show like this before, and I'm like, damn, wow, like speechless. And I'm I'm so all for collection that talks about women empowerment. A plus, A plus. So Ellie Saab, please invite me to your show next time. Please, please. That was Ellie Saab's um, collection review. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Paris Fashion Week. And if you guys have more comments or other designers that you feel 
like was one of the best in Paris Fashion Week. Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to hear some of your um, comments and opinions. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love to just listen to all your fashion advice in life. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Don't forget to click subscribe or whatever. And well, I'll be coming up with more videos. That's it. Enjoy, you guys. Stay grateful and paalam!